Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and tonight we have a different setting as you can see, I hope you like it. Uh, basically, today we get to discover uh, what the Grammy Academy decided to uh, nominate to each category they uh, have and I'm just excited to see it honestly uh so without further ado let's just get into it um actually hold on <laughs> there's one thing i, I want to say um uh, my mom actually my mom uh, I, I think i mentioned her like uh for the first time in a long time but uh she wrote a book she released an official book and it's on amazon and she told me like to promote it <laughs> basically um it's uh she read uh, like she read one great book um, when she was in Uzbekistan when she was living in Uzbekistan as a child so this is uh, really like a sweet memory from her childhood she really loved that book uh, reading that book when she was younger and she believes that um, it's still amazing it's still an amazing book to this day like uh, if only there was an English version she thought uh, like more people would you know be able to access it and read it and uh it's just a great message for everyone in that book as well it's just uh, written in a great way as well so we decided to like um bring that uzbek version into english version and like translate every every good things about that book um to this book i mean to uh translation and you know just uh, release an incredible book that will be um, good for everyone and she took that book and after asking for like official license basically like uh, official permission to translate that book in English um, from the author himself we I helped her as well to edit this book I translated uh, with my mom together we were working on um, this book and the, I just uh, hope you'll check it out you'll check it out it's uh, Pretty much for everyone, um, well, except for little kids. It's I would say it's uh, for ten years old and older. Uh, it's pretty, uh, I mean, lengthy book, but you can actually finish it in a day. So, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, check it out in the description box below, the link to the book. But now, let's talk to the Gra Let's talk about the Grammys and let's just um, check out the nominees. Okay, complete nominees list. Let's go. <laughs> I am excited. I am excited. Last time, by the way, Billie Eilish won Song of the Year, Artist of the Year, uh, freaking New Album of the Year. Um, you know, she pretty much won everything. And I honestly prefer when um, I don't really like this way when Grammy decides to like give all the uh, like major uh, trophies to one artist like let's say Adele back in the day it was Adele with like six seven Grammys in one night and then yes uh, to, uh, last last time it was Billie Eilish with four uh, Grammy um, uh, sta uh, Grammy trophies so I was just like I usually prefer when the winner the wins are split up so everybody will not everybody but like a lot of more people get to win like I would I would have loved to see Lil Nas X win Song of the Year or like Ariana Grande win something at that night because I, for me, I love both of the albums, but for me, like say Thank, thank You Next was a little bit uh, better than Billie Eilish's album. At least I was coming back to Ariana Grande's album a little bit more. But you know, at the end of the day, I think Billie Eilish was a safe pick and uh, she deserved it anyway as well. So it was, it was okay. It was not a bad decision to do that. Um, but uh, let's see, let's see <laughs> this year, how is it going to be? Nominees list. Uh, and uh, we are here for the general field. Record of the year. Black Parade by Beyonce. Okay. Okay, I think <laughs> it's, in maybe it's a good song, but I think it's included because of Black Lives Matter. I think uh, they are trying to point out the importance of the movement. The imp it's like... Again, getting pol political a little bit. Um, the the importance of the message is uh, weighing. I mean, coming to the, the play, and that's why it's getting nominated, in my opinion. Even though if it is, it's a good song. If there was not 
that Black Lives Matter message, I think it would have not be nominated. And also Beyonce being, you know, that her name helps to uh, put it here. Black Pumas Colors? Interesting. I actually, I I think I've heard it. I don't really remember, so I gotta check it out again. Rockstar by The Baby featuring Rod Rich. I mean, it's a good song, but record of the year, in my opinion. Um, don't really, I don't really think it fits, but Say So by Doja Cat, definitely hell yes. Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish, sure, why not? Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa, it was a major song, popular song. Uh, it grew on me as well, even, th even though I gave it a negative initial reaction. I, I like it, I like it's the song a lot now. I actually don't mind if Don't Start Now wins. Uh, I would love to see Dua Lipa win. Uh, Circles by Post Malone. <laughs> That was a good, that's a good song. And Megan Thee Stallion featuring Beyonce, Savage. Good choices. Um, I'm thinking what kind of songs like I would prefer to this list. Um, there is plenty, I gotta say, but I cannot really remember. I, Blinding Lights. Blinding Lights by The Weeknd is not here. Oh my God. And I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm rocking XO shirt. God damn it. Why not? Blinding Lights was very popular. The Box. By Roddy Rich, it was also very very popular. Where is that? Interesting, interesting. Well, well, I don't know what they're gonna pick. To be honest with you, Black Parade is also I, I wouldn't mind Black Parade, but I don't think it's like a record of the year. You know what I'm saying? Uh, much more weight and significance to 2020. Uh, you know, say so. It had Don't Start Now. Circles was 2019 song, but okay, fine. Uh, and Savage, Savage was very big. My, my pick would be Savage. And then second choice would be Say So. Third choice would be Don't Start Now. And then fourth is Circles. And then fifth is Black Parade. Album of the year. We have Chilomba by Jenny Aiko. I'm really happy about that. Yes, great album. Black Pumas, they're pushing Black Pumas a lot. <laughs> um, yes, damn. I, gotta, I guess I gotta check Black Pumas out. I mean... Um, I, I heard some stuff, but um, I personally don't really like it. It's not in my listening rotation, but um, let's see. Everyday Life by Coldplay, wow. I I mean, it was, since it was in 2019, I kind of forgot about this album, and I didn't expect it to be like even considered in this nomination, but yes, yes. Um, good, good album. Why not? Why not? And then we have Jacob Collier. I'm hearing this name for the first time. Uh, sorry, JC Volume 3. I don't even know what genre it is, to be honest with you. And then, <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Women in Music Part 3 by Haim. Yes, sir. Yes, ladies. You did it, you did it. I, I would love them to win this. Oh my God, I'm such in love with this record. Oh my God, I really love it. I really, really love it. Damn, and then Future Nostalgia, obviously, should have been here, should be, uh, it's very deserved, Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa, and if I'm not gonna see Lady Gaga's Chromatica right now, after scrolling whole is, past whole is bleeding, I'm gonna be upset. And there's also The Weeknd's After Hours, still, I, I hope to see something, here we go, let's go, I mean, whole is bleeding, it's a good album too, but... I'm not my personal cup of tea, but still, I gotta give credit to Post Malone, it's a good album. Come on, F I mean, fuck her, fine, it's a good album too by Taylor Swift, but please, that's it. Ah, what about the best pop album of this year? What about Chromatica by Lady Gaga? What happened to it? They always pushed Lady Gaga in Grammys. Remember, like they would, they would always take Lady Gaga, even like with uh, Star Is Born. Like they freaking dropped <laughs> the movie dropped in twenty sixteen, I believe Star Is Born. But then there was even a song nomination for the year uh, in twenty eighteen. They they would drag Star Is Born stuff. Like I would, I assume like Lady um, Grammy Awards had bias to Lady Gaga, like. Are there no any other songs <laughs> in the world? Like why they keep putting Stars Born soundtrack in everywhere? But like, yeah, but this time when it was needed to be picked, Chromatica Lady Gaga. What? What? Why is it not here? 
I mean, this like this was unexpected with women in the music part three. I'm very, very pleased, pleasantly surprised. But not the weekend with after hours. The, the guy had blinding lights. Like, the, I mean, one of the biggest songs of the year for sure. Everybody was listening to it. Uh, in Spotify only, there is like more than 1.5 billion views. Uh, sorry, streams. It's insane, and it's not. And I mean. The other songs were also popular, like the Heartless, um, freaking um, track ten. I forgot the name for for now, but in your eyes, yes, exactly. But uh, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know why the weekend was not involved here. Um, I I don't understand why they never include the weekend in the in the conversation. He's such a big artist, but they don't include him. Like the only time I remember he was nominated for best album of the year was. Beauty Behind the Menace, back in 2015, but, and he didn't win that as well, he didn't win, uh, I don't remember him winning, like, uh, Song of the Year for Can't Feel My Face, he was nominated, but, I mean, these are such a good songs, but, who knows what, what's happening with the, um, with, with these guys, I mean, Taylor Swift, obviously, should have been here, I mean, like, they always pick it, I mean, Many people love Taylor Swift. I personally, I like her and I did like Folklore. Um, but I would prefer, I mean, I don't mind even it being here. Like, I, I, I actually mind, like, Jacob Collier, who is that? <laughs> and why there's push for Black Pumas a lot. Um, I mean, I might offend some Black Pumas fans right now, but I personally, I would prefer, like, I mean, Lady Gaga in The Weeknd, they were, like, powerhouses of music that actually released great albums and Coldplay Everyday Life for example yes it's a good album but it's like significance of these two albums of this album for example right is I feel like it's more um, significant to music than Coldplay's Everyday Life anyway, but um, no shade for Coldplay Coldplay is one of my favorite bands but it's just i don't know like some of the final picks is just but again there are also <laughs> albums that i do like so let's not only keep talking about negativity uh there's no album uh, this album yet at least album of the year but um i don't i do understand it i don't understand it why it's not here but uh, i personally really love this album uh anyway uh let's keep going song of the year Black Parade again, The Box, Roddy Rich finally is here, Cardigan by Taylor Swift, Circles, Post Malone again, there's push for Circles, okay, not, not bad, Don't Start Now, Everything I Wanted, I Heard, I Can Breathe, I Can Breathe is a good song, If the World Was Ending is here as well, I don't understand why there's no blinding lights, I genuinely don't understand why there's no blinding lights in Rain On Me by Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande, Okay, okay. Let me let me see. Like for album of the year, I would, I'm assuming I would give it to Women in Music Part Three. Just because I'm biased. I I don't mind Dua Lipa getting it as well. I don't mind Everyday Life getting it as well. But I I I highly doubt it's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, Chilombo is good too. But uh, I feel like they will give it to either Post Malone or Taylor Swift. I feel like to be honest with you. But we we'll, we shall see. We shall see. I just, I highly doubt they will give it to Future Nostalgia. I think Dua Lipa uh, is great, but I feel like Grammys don't have the vision to push her like that yet, to like, to see her like the best of the best. Like they have their own list of top names, like Post Malone, Taylor Swift. I feel like do, they didn't, they, didn't include Dua Lipa in that party yet, so I feel like, um, so like it's it's sad that we're talking about this like, they're you know people who they know people people who they prefer like you know, um, it's not about song quality or album quality who is better than the other, but actually we're talking about who they prefer, which is sad. Um, I personally think they will give it to Folklore, but uh, we'll see. And for the song of the year, I think they will pick... They might pick the box, just because it was big, but I highly doubt it. I feel like it's gonna 
go to the songs that were in the in the record of the year nomination. So it, it's, it can be everything I wanted. Do not start now. Circles. Air Blackberry could have been in that. My pick is the box, but um, I would also like Dua Lipa to win as well. I I, I like Dua Lipa a lot. Best new artist. We have Ingrid Andres, Phoebe Bridgers, yes sir, I, I don't know Ingrid Andres, I'm sorry, uh, I don't know Chica as well, I, I mean, I do know Noah Cyrus, um, but I feel like Noah Cyrus, she has been in the game for so many years, like, <laughs> best new artist doesn't really fit, I don't know why she's getting nominated to this category only now, uh, D Smoke, I've heard about uh, that uh, person, I don't know... I haven't really checked out the new music, but there's Doja Cat, there's Kate Tronada, which is awesome, and uh, Megan Thee Stallion, but I, I think Megan Thee Stallion gonna get it, because she's so big, um, and she had a hell of a year, I think Megan Thee Stallion gonna get it. And then Doja, Doja Cat is second choice for the um, Academy, and same here. I love Phoebe Bridgers. I, I'm, and Kate Trinata, but I, I don't think they have that power name to them. Megan's gonna get it, and I'm happy about that. Best pop solo performance, we have Yummy. <laughs> yummy, we have Yummy. <sighs> Fine. Say So by Doja I mean, I like Justin Bieber, don't get me wrong, but Yummy, specifically Yummy, not even Intentions? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Say So by Doja Cat. Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish. Don't Start Now. I mean, again, same names. And Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles. I would... Harry to win. I would love to see Harry win. And by the way, Fine Line by Harry Styles was not nominated to Best Album of the Year. And not even pop up. Wait, did we see pop? Okay, okay, we're coming. I hope it. Fine Line's gotta be in pop album of the year nomination, at least. Excuse me. All right. Um, best pop duo group performance. Well, I think again. I I would love very much, but I think they're gonna pick either say so or don't start now or everything I want or cardigan. Might be, but Cardigan, I feel like a, Cardigan is not gonna win. Like, as a standalone song, I don't think it's that good. Uh, it's either Say So or Don't Start Now. I feel like Say So and Don't Start Now are just very, very, too pop, very popular songs, and I think it will overshadow everything I wanted. Um, so we'll see. I would go for Say So, to be honest. I just love that song. Um, if I'm sticking to the Grammy, but Watermelon Sugar, I just love hairstyles even more than those, those cats, so... You know what? I, I actually, as a song, I like Say So more than Watermelon Sugar, now I think about it, so... I would love Say So to win it. But I want Harry to get something, like Best Pop Album, for example. Let's let's go for it, let's see. Best Pop Duo Group Performance. Un Dia, J Balm, Dua Lipa, Bad Bunny, Tiny, okay, okay. Intentions, yes, good. BTS Dynamite, uh, Dynamite, not bad. Rain on Me, finally. Yes, sir. Lady Gaga with Ariana Grande. And Exile, good song. Taylor Swift featuring Bon Iver. Really love that song as well. I think these are good choices, actually. These are good choices, not bad. Best pop vocal album, here we are. Changes, Chromatica, yes, finally. Thank you, thank you. Fine Line is here, thank you. Future Nostalgia is here, thank you. And Taylor Swift, Folklore, good. Changes, good. Good. This section is very good, actually. And it is very hard, because I like all of these albums. Obviously, I prefer the middle three, Chromatica, Future Nostalgia, and Fine Line more, and it's very, very, very hard to pick which one is more than the other. I actually do have Fine Line vinyl. I should have picked it. I grabbed it here as well to showcase it. For some reason, I want to pick Chromatica over Future Nostalgia and fine, there's Fine Line as well and in this situation I guess I will give um, Best Book Pop performance to Rain On Me so that Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande have a Grammy 
and then best probable album I would give to Fine Line. Although I don't see them giving um, best pop album to Fine Line. I would say they will give it to either Lady Gaga or Dua Lipa. Although, of course, there's still Taylor Swift, who I I think they might also give. I mean, they, there is a better chance that they'll give it to Taylor Swift anyway. Like, no matter who is, maybe only Adele. Adele and Taylor Swift, like two like artists that Gravy just freaking admires and loves. So I think when Taylor Swift is in the conversation, there's no Adele, and she like could be instantly like just a slightly a favorite favorite to other the others about the others so I'm just th I just think that folklore like I, I just have that um, worry that they will still give to folklore but I would prefer <sighs> fine line in this case um, even if I actually prefer chromatic <laughs> official statue more than fine line I just I just want Harry Styles to win something okay don't judge me <laughs> um, Best dance recording, Diplo, on my mind. Wow, I, I don't really, I don't remember hearing this track. Best dance recording. It's awesome that Disclosure featuring I mean it's what I hear my high great and then there's Flume featuring Tori Moy. The difference I've seen this track popping up a lot of times, but I don't really remember how it sounds like. To be honest, Kate Renata featuring Kelly, which is ten percent. Yes, please, very good song. Both of us, JDG, I don't know. Um, I I just love Disclosure so much that I want them to mean and it's a good song. It's either my high or 10%. I do love K Trinata's 10% a lot too, so I don't know. I actually don't know. I, I was just <laughs> okay, it's 10% K Trinata featuring Cali, which is okay. I don't mind that. It's good. Best dance electronic album we have Arca. Wow, they do know Arca. That's awesome. Kick one, Kick Eye or Kick One. Um, I personally don't really love that album, but I love um, the single with Rosalia. And it's Planets Mad Bauer. Wow, Bauer. I gotta listen to the album, I guess. I mean, I do know Bauer. I haven't heard this album though. Disclosures Energy. Kate and that's Booba. Both are the great album. And Good Faith by Marion that um, I reacted to it as well and uh, a lot of people watched it people were asking me to react to this album like a lot of apparently there are a lot of Medion fans and it was my first time listening to full project by Medion uh, it was okay it was pretty good uh, but I personally prefer Energy um, or Booba as well but I, I would love uh, Energy to take this yeah I would love that Let's see. Rock best rock performance Jamaica by Fiona Apple uh, okay Okay, a good song. Not by Big Thief, I don't know. Kyoto by Fury Breakers, good. The Steps by Haim, it's good. Um, I actually really love the picks. Kyoto, The Steps, Shemika, all three are great. Um, Stay High, I mean, I, and I cannot say anything about Not, but uh, Stay High by Brittany Howard, I haven't heard. And Daylight by Grace Potter, I haven't heard as well. Actually, you know what? The picks are decent. It's um, I mean, yes, there are definitely snubs, but um, I'm not very super mad, you know. Um, there is still a lot of stuff that I do like and do listen to. So, yeah, I'm not that disappointed. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, it just brightened my mood that uh, Kyoto, The Steps, Jamaica, like Fiona Apple, she had a good album. Phoebe Bridges had a great album as well. Haim did even even better album. Like I prefer Haim over the other two picks, to be honest with you. But uh, I just I just love that album so much. Love the girls. Yeah, the steps. <laughs> it's here. It's a winner for me here. This rock song Kyoto by Phoebe Bridges again. Lost. I. <sighs> This, they, actually, these songs, they, <laughs> it's alternative. I don't consider them rock. It's like, ah, like there's no elements like that. Okay, but uh, they consider it rock. Okay. Lost in Yesterday by Kevin Parker, songwriter Timmy Impala. Bro, <laughs> I love that song. But why is it considered as Kevin Parker? Oh, 
Yes, it is Kevin Parker. My bad, my bad, my bad. I was thinking about the drummer, uh, Travis Barker. It is Kevin Parker. Yes, Timmy Parker. Sorry, yeah. The guy's name is Kevin Parker, Australian guy. Yes. Lost in Yesterday. I don't even consider other options. That song is gonna win. I don't care. <laughs> um, best rock album. Kivanuka by Michael Kivanuka. Uh, I know about that uh, about this guy, um, but I haven't checked out the whole album. Grace Potter again. I don't know Grace Potter. The Strokes, the new abnormal. I think the Strokes gonna get it. Um, Sturgill Simpson. I've heard of the person, but I don't really know. I haven't heard the album. Yeah, the Strokes gonna get it. I'm pretty sure, but uh, I don't. I don't really care about these albums, to be honest with you. Fetch the Bull Colors, okay. Beck's Hyperspace, I actually haven't listened to Hyperspace, but I heard it's not that good. <laughs> Punisher by Phoebe Bridgers, yes. The Slow Rush, Tame Impala, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Um, but Fiona Apple might get it, actually, because she, um, everybody really loved that album. Like, critics just like, just the world. <laughs> so if it's just the Volcano, I might win this song. But, uh, I would love the Slow Rush to get it. Let's see, r &B, Black Parade, uh, Jenny Aiko. Uh, well, Black, Black Parade is going to get it for sure. That's, that's for sure. Uh, and then there's uh, Yeba. Wow, that's cool. Um, Chloe and Hale. Uh, I actually don't know any of the songs. Best r and Black Parade is gonna get it for sure, but there's also Slow Down by Skip Marley, there's Do It by uh, uh, Chloe and Hale, uh, or Hallie, sorry, Hale, <laughs> Hallie. Uh, and then there's Her, Better Than I Imagine, okay, okay. Um, best Progressive R&B Album, Chilombo on Gali Hour. Yeah, I'm here for, I'm supporting Ch Chilombo here for sure. And Thundercat, I know it's good, I haven't heard this one though. Uh, best R&B Album, John Legend, Great Reporter, Giveon and Clemens. Okay, and uh, Luke James, I don't know. I don't know, I haven't heard these albums, but I do respect these uh, artists for sure. Uh, and then rap, finally, oh my God. <laughs> Deep uh, Reverence, Big Sean featuring Deep Singer also. Okay, best rap performance. Bob the Baby, wait a second. I think I've, wasn't it nominated last year? Oh, and Shu was nominated. Bob, I fucking love that song. What's Poppin'? The Bigger Picture, Little Baby, Good, Savage, yes, Dior, Pop Smoke, wow, it's, it's actually a pretty decent list. I mean, the favorites are Bop, What's Poppin', and Savage, and they might give it to Savage, actually, I see it, because Savage is nominated uh, to, like, best uh, song of the year, probably they're gonna give it to Savage, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, Bop and What's Poppin' are just so like amazing songs as well. Love them both. Uh, I even I think I like Bop even more than What's Poppin'. But anyway, it's just a fun time. Really enjoy them. I mean, all of these songs are actually good. I like them. I listen to them a lot. Um, so yeah, but um, yeah, <laughs> best melodic rap performance. There's. Rockstar, the baby featuring Ray Rich, of course, Melodic, yes, Rockstar should be here. Laugh Now, Cry Later, Drake, featuring Lil Durk. Lil Durk sings it really well. I mean, Drake's vocals, when he, uh, you know, just uh, melodically, like, sings it as well, it's just um, always on point. So, I mean, that's a song, like, I don't even want to look at the rest. Like, this is a freaking, one of the best songs of the year for me. Um, really enjoyed the song, so yeah, laugh now, cry later. I would love to, uh, to you know, um, them to win. Uh, but but I mean, there's even better, uh, not better, sorry, bigger songs uh, that are more significant to the year um, in popularity. Like there's just essentials of twenty twenty is the box by Roddy Rich. So I think and Rockstar too. Um, so I think they might give it to the box, uh, which is not bad either. I mean, I love the box. It's just freaking fire. But it's just like I have some spot for laugh now, cry later, cry later because this is such a great, great song. Uh, Highest in the room is a good song too. Definitely, uh, lockdown is good. Don't mind any of the songs. I honestly, my least uh, preferred song is Rockstar. I just find Rockstar okay. 
I don't really like enjoy it while listening to it. But uh, yeah, laugh now, cry later, or the box. I think one of the two is gonna get it actually. Yeah, if we saw a rock star in the box before. But let's stick with the box. Then. Let's stick with the box. Uh, best rap song. Best rap song. The bigger picture by Lil Baby. Lil Baby even be, yeah, got a um, best artist of the year from Apple Music, which is nice. I mean, uh, I don't, uh, I don't deny that he had probably um, like the best year out of everyone. He had so many. He was he was, he was very dominating the charts this year. So, uh, but the bigger picture, I think they are nominating exactly because of the message again, Black Lives Matter message. Uh, which is not bad. Again, I, I, like let me get it clear. Like I support Black Lives Matter, obviously, and I actually was pro protesting in San Diego as well. We were out. I was there, but um, I just feel like Grammy likes to and Oscars likes to police uh, involve politics as well. Just I don't think it's really that necessary, um, and. Um, I personally feel like Lil Baby had better songs, but the bigger picture definitely more meaningful uh, because of the things he said, and he said it well. Actually, the message was clearly delivered, and I respect. I really, I was uh, surprised, pleasantly surprised by this song. Um, but anyway, I I don't think like it's my personal favorite to win best rap song, but they might give it to him actually. The Box, Royal Rage again, favorite. Savage is a favorite. Rockstar is a favorite here. Even if Love Now, Cry Later, I would pick out of everyone. Um, as of now, at least, I, The Box and The Savage are very, very big songs as well. And the songs that I love, I just, um, I, I don't think they would, they would actually pick Drake's, Drake's song. I, would, I think they will pick one of the three and uh, my choice among the box and savage is very very it's like very 50 50 i don't even know what song to pick <laughs> to be honest i'm fine with either um so i guess uh let's uh, give to the one that has less grammys you know what i'm saying like the if let's say the box wins more Grammys at the top of the in the top categories. Let Savage take this one. If Savage had has more Grammys, let the box take this one. So, uh, best rap album. Let's get it. Good stuff. Alfredo is here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even. I don't even need to look at the rest. Oh my god. Alfredo is here. My friend is an alchemist. Let's see it. Yes, sir. And it is. Yeah, it is gonna be my pick for sure because I'm looking at the others. There's Nas, King's Disease, yes, not bad, but uh, I think it's here because of the name more. Again, I personally, I listened to it once and I was not such a big fan, so uh, that's just me. Maybe it was actually a great album, but Written Testament, J Electronica, also not bad, but I don't think it was that good. Black Habits, Z Smoke again, Z Smoke, I honestly... Yeah. That's the only artist I didn't really check out. And the Allegory by Rose to Five Nine, that came out in 2019. Um, okay, if you want to give it to Royce, I mean, I'm, I'm here for it because uh, Royce is uh, Eminem's friend and I, I'm number one fan of <laughs> Eminem. <laughs> but um, yeah, so why not? But that Alfredo is the only one I actually 100% um, enjoy out of the list. So that's my pick. But they're gonna give it to the name that that is more established, I believe, uh, which is not. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, country, uh, I don't really know. I haven't really listened to, the, to this album, even if I know the names. Um, Ten thousand hours. <laughs> okay, I guess we will give it to them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, best country song. Um, the Bones by Marilyn Morris is here, okay. Uh, Brandy Carlisle is here, Crowded Table. Um, just give it to Brandy, I mean, I love her so much. <laughs> uh, 
And yeah, I think we're gonna close it here because at this point, yeah. Jesus is King, best contemporary Christian music album. Jesus is King by Kanye West. I think you were gonna get it, but wow. <laughs> that is insane that he actually got nomination for Jesus is King in Christian album. Yeah, Christian category. Oh, there it is, Latin. Bad Bunny's YHLQMDLG. Camilo, Kanye Garcia, Ricky Martin. I only heard Bad Bunny. This album, it was good. And it actually might get it because that was like the biggest, like the pop, most popular album out of this all. Um, Lido Pimienta, Miss Colombia is here. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, and others, I don't know. So yes, Miss Colombia was <laughs> my pick. Um, Natalia La Furcade, Un Canto por Mexico, Volume 1. Yes, best regional Mexican music album, please. Uh, uh, give, give that to Natalia, please. That's a great album. I would definitely recommend that. Um, American Roots Music, Black Pumas Colors will definitely get it. And there's a music video. Oh my god. So we have a Brown Skin Girl. I haven't watched it. Life is Good, good video. Oh, I'm glad that it's here. Adorio is here. Oh wow. <laughs> lockdown. Okay. I haven't watched the lockdown video, I think. Um, and I don't know what kid. <sighs> My pick would be Life is Good, but Adorio is also good. I think Adorio, Adorio is actually better, better made. So I think Adorio should actually, I, I think he deserves it. I think Adorio deserves it, yeah. Uh, best music film, there's also Rosalia on Adorio, so definitely. Uh, best music film, uh, Beastie Boys haven't watched, oh, I haven't watched this movie, it's so my bad. Okay, and then, that, that's it. <laughs> and that's it, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's been long, but I uh, got to talk to you about this music, uh, songs and albums and the music I listened to this year, and I'm happy about that. So yeah, so yeah, what, what do you think about Grammys? Um, if you have uh, seen your snubs, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you're happy with the list, let me know as well too. And who uh, are you voting for? I mean, supporting. Who do you want? Uh, to win. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.